I'm gonna cut the head off your Sophie, buddy. I'm gonna cut her open. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chase and payment on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. I'm delighted cause I got you. busy morning did a lot of cleaning did some laundry took care of chase i uh, got dinner going but i'm pretty excited because guess what got here this is our new sophie i ordered a new sophie the giraffe because i'm going to cut open our old one i fell for the hype i can't stand not knowing whether there's mold in it or not i'm like 99 percent sure that there's not mold in it though because i've never submerged it in water and i think that's how well that's how like a lot of the water would get in what I have done though is run it under the faucet to clean it like several times. It's like four or five years old, so it's definitely been under the water a lot of times to be cleaned and water could have gotten in that way. Um, but I don't know, I took the thing, here, I'll get it, the thing. I took the Sophie and like squirt the air up my nose and it smells fine. Like it doesn't smell moldy or musty or have any weird scent at all, so I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be fine. But this is like Chase's like favorite teething toy. Like he loves this thing. You love it, buddy, don't you? It's like it's like his favorite teething toy. He always has it. So I just really need to know if there's mold in it. I can't have him chewing on a thing all the time, not knowing whether there's mold in it. It's not like the mold is on the outside or anything. It's on the inside, but still that's gross. If there is mold in it, I want him to have one that doesn't have mold in it, obviously. Um, so yeah, I got the new one. We're gonna open it. I'm gonna go pick Madison up from school and then the next clip, I'll show you guys us cutting open Sophie and we'll see what's inside. Leave, leave your guesses down below. Do you think there's gonna be mold in it or not? I think not, but I'm not gonna be upset if I cut it open and there's no mold inside. He likes the thing so much that I feel like he should have his own brand new Sophie and not like the four or five year old Sophie. Um, so anyway, yeah, I'm excited to cut Sophie open and see, see what's going on. Okay, here we go. Here's our old Sophie. Let's open our new Sophie first. Make sure that we have, make sure that that's what they actually send us. Yes, they do. Oh yeah. Here's our brand new Sophie the giraffe. Madison's, can you see her? Madison's with me. Wanna be in the video? Alright guys, so we got a nice new, brand new one. In case this ends up being moldy. I'm gonna cut the head off your Sophie, buddy. And you have a new one. I'm gonna cut her open. Alright. Here we go. Is that what you're supposed to do? Cut her head off? I guess. I guess. <laughs> this is so weird. One <laughs> by <sighs> Sophie, but you really gonna do it. What's your guess? Do you think there's gonna be mold? She thinks there's mold. I think there's nothing. Actually, no, I don't think. You don't think there's mold? Yeah. But good thing we ordered a new one just in case there's mold. We got it. Done. Done. It's perfectly clean. Let me see. What? You cut open. It's perfectly fine. Oh my goodness. I hope he likes like the new one. Imagine he does. He doesn't even like the new one. And I just wrecked this one that he likes. Yeah, that would be crazy. Be yeah, sad. there is absolutely nothing. What? Let me show them. Perfectly clean, no mold at all. Aha! Uh -huh, I was right. I was right too. Nothing in there either. Can't see, but there's. There's nothing. Yeah. It's fine. People must really be, you know, filling these things with water like, like crazy. I'm just destroying Sophie. <laughs> they must really be filling it with water and like just leaving it sit there forever. Like that one picture, like what did that lady do? Oh, and then 
you guys read the story where the one lady was like, oh, the legs are too long, so I'm gonna cut them shorter, and then she was gonna give it back to her kid. Like, can't do that. Then they would just probably like rip chunks of it off or something. No. Yeah, yeah our Sophie is perfectly fine. Yeah. But this thing we got well, a new one. Not perfectly fine anymore because I just chopped it up. But yeah. here's a new one. I'm gonna wash this and. Oh, it squeaks now. Yeah. Our old one didn't squeak, I don't think. It. Did, I hope he still likes it, it. It feels a little different. It doesn't um, feel exactly the same because it's new. This one doesn't have pink cheeks anymore. No? No, see? Oh yeah, his pink cheeks wore off. Yeah. I really hope he still likes I really hope he likes the new Sophie. Alright, I'm gonna wash it and we'll, we'll test it out, okay? Okay. See if he likes it. <laughs> Alright, here's the brand new clean Sophie. Hopefully he likes it. Still. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Here. He doesn't want it now. Oh, yeah, now he wants it. Well, he's it. playing, and we gotta wait and see if he actually up oh, in the mouth. <laughs> in the mouth. Good. You still like it? Yeah? <laughs> that is good. Hi, buddy. <laughs> so, I'm just finishing getting dinner ready. I made beef stroganoff in the crock pot. Um, I just have to cook the noodles, so I. I'm boiling the water for that now. It's like 6.30, so it should be eating a little, in a little bit, like 10-ish minutes or so. As long as this water boils fast. Um, my desk came today. Yay, I'm so excited. I haven't opened it yet, but probably, I'll probably open this box after we eat and just check all the pieces, make sure nothing's damaged and all that. I really hope nothing is damaged because it took over a week to get this. Um, and yeah, I don't want to have to like send pieces back and wait for new pieces or anything like that. Um, but there's the box it came in. So yeah, I'll open that after we eat and check it out. I'm pretty excited. I'm not gonna be able to set it up today because it's already too late, but maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I can set it up. Time to open my desk and check the pieces, make sure nothing is broken. As far as I can tell right now, it looks okay. That's the desktop. It looks really nice, a nice bright white. And the top of the desk looks looks good. The legs are like underneath it and I don't wanna take everything out of the box right now because I'm not gonna set it up right now. And I wanna like put the top back on. But yeah, as far as I can tell, it looks all right. I guess I'll see tomorrow when I go to, when I go to put it together how it really looks. Um, but yeah, I didn't realize how much packaging was going to be around it and how much styrofoam. I hate styrofoam so much. But yeah, tomorrow I will fully unpackage it and set it up. I don't think I'll be able to like, I'm not going to be able to move my computer over tomorrow. I think I still need like cords or something for my computer, but at least I can get it built and set up and everything. So yeah. Chase is like desperately trying to get Madison's pony book. <laughs> he wants it so bad. Here, have it. Well, don't care. Let him let him see the cover of it, but don't let him have it because he'll he'll wreck the pages. You let him see the front of it though. <laughs> you like you like my little pony too. What? Are you gonna let him play with your ponies when he gets older? Yeah. Yeah. You're like yeah. yeah I guess <laughs> if I have to. <laughs> I guess I'll share. <laughs> There you go, bud. There's a little book for you. You could probably still wreck that one, though. What do you think, buddy? That book's already wrecked. I don't think it really matters if you wreck it. We have to get a new one. So it's the next day now. I kind of just stopped vlogging last night. I never know what to vlog at night. It's like nothing happens at night, and I'm always just like, meh, like, what do I vlog? Like, we just have dinner, and then after that, we just lay around in, on the floor in the living room with Chase and Madison and eventually it's time to put Madison to bed and then it's time to put Chase to bed and then it's just boring after that. So I don't know, maybe I should just start like ending my vlogs around seven o'clock or something because nothing happens after that. Um, 
But yeah, it's a new day now and I was going to I was going to unpack my desk all the way and like take all the pieces out and like check everything today. But in the middle of the night last night, my boobs started hurting like really bad. Like I couldn't even lay on my side. I had to lay on my back and yeah, it was just really hurting. So I'm pretty sure I'm getting mastitis again or maybe it's just a plugged duct, I'm not sure. But it's like red in that spot and I think when it's red, that means it's mastitis. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, but I did feel like I was starting to get a little bit of a fever this morning. I don't think I have a fever right now, but I'm just trying to take it easy today and like not do anything extra and just try to let my body do what it has to do to get rid of this before, or like so hopefully it won't turn into something like last time where I had like 103 degree fever. That was not fun. Um, but I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here and I actually have a question to answer. Um, I don't remember who asked it, but someone asked if like this house, when we buy a house, if it's gonna be our like forever home or if it's gonna be like a starter house kind of thing. And honestly, I don't, I don't really know because I don't know what kind of house we're gonna be able to find. Like if we can only find a three bedroom right now and that's all we can afford right now, um, it might be our house for, I don't know, a few years, five years, something like that. And then we might sell and try to get something bigger. Um, or like maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find like a four bedroom house, but that's probably not gonna happen because houses are, really expensive around here and also on that same topic i'm not exactly sure whether we're actually going to be able to buy after this place or not i think i'm crazy to think that we're going to be able to buy a house in six months like we haven't even started the process yet we haven't gone to the bank yet or anything so yeah uh greg and i were actually talking about it and we were thinking about just trying to move back to where we were before like closer to our family and just renting again or finding like if we could find like a rent to own type situation, that would be amazing. Um, those are hard to come by too, but yeah, I'm not exactly sure whether we're gonna be able to buy at the end of our lease here. And I think we're, I think instead of staying here, we're leaning more towards just moving back where we were, closer to our, fa closer to our family. It's just easier just really getting the whole process started like we were planning on doing here, but everything just went so fast. Like, I don't know, like the past six months we, we moved, we had a new baby, Madison started school, and then like before we knew it, it was like Thanksgiving and then Christmas and then New Year's, and now we have six-ish six months left in our lease and we haven't done anything yet. So yeah, time just got away from us, which sucks because we really don't want to keep renting, but what are you gonna do? You just gotta let things play out how they're gonna play out sometimes, I think. Um, and I like to think that everything happens for a reason. Like if we don't end up buying and we end up renting again for a little while, maybe Chase is like making farting noises over here already. <laughs> He's just like blowing raspberries like crazy. Um, if we don't end up buying and end up renting again, then maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe our our dream house just isn't there yet. Um, and it's just not the right time for us. So yeah, I hope that answers your question. I kind of went on a little rant there, but I just wanted to let you guys know about that too. But anyway, that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to my channel and you found my channel because of the Sophie video, I would love to have you subscribe. Uh, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.